guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today, travelling off to Bishop Auckland to go and watch them to take on it. Children AFC in a top two clash. A huge thank you to Great God who has gotten both me and my dad VIP tickets to the game. A massive thank you to him for that. As I currently stand, Bishop Auckland are currently top of the league. Uh, they played 31 games, Sheldon have played 32. Bishops are three points ahead of Sheldon, uh, but Sheldon currently have a higher goal difference. So obviously if Sheldon win today, they will go some of the league, but I think really with that going mad for Bishop Auckland, even no matter what happens today, they're still going to be in control of the league because of that game in hand. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, great visit get, game this will be, I'm sure it'll be a huge attendance. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll see you when I'm at the ground. One nil to Children AFC, uh, scored by David Vincent. Uh, Bishop's been let off a bunch of times before they go into that. For that uh, Children's fans. Um, we'll see what happens now. Oh. Penalty to Children. Two nil to Shildon. Uh, did you see penalty? Did uh, you saved and ended under rebound by Ben Bright? Ray, I think his name is. I've just pronounced it. Didn't even say. He said we got a skin for the first couple. I've had some of it where. Um, Stand. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shildon's been giving Ryan Catterick some stick. At the goalkeeper. He uh, turned round and he said to one of them, "Like your fringe is right off, mate." <laughs> Great laugh. Well, uh, it's not going to look good for Richard Reed anymore, but we'll see what happens now. Half time, 2 0 to Shildon. Who uh, from Bishop Open so far, really? Who was goal of the world up for offside uh, for Shildon? Uh, they've been all over Bishop Open so far. Um, this has managed to create one or two chances, but nothing really too much at all. And, uh, the better team is winning it right now. Um, see what happens in the second half. But uh, Bishop Open really needs to get for themselves together because. This could get ugly. He's on side, he's on. Two 
Well, Liam Thompson with a goal. Game on. Three one two children uh Joe Post Hill with the goal uh he's one scott missed as a penalty. Um my god Bishwell my so it's by Bishwell can have come as you'll have seen before it's Bishwell could be ridiculously close to an equalizer. Uh, I don't know if it didn't score one uh, I didn't get for a goal for children the third one. Uh, oh shame. See what happens now but there won't be enough time for to for, to get two goals, it shouldn't be enough time really. So, we'll see. just see what can happen. Full time! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Not like <laughs> 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 Oh, Oh, Right guys, I'm joined here by Bishop Wilkins number 9, Louis Johnson. Thank you for joining me, Louis. How are you doing, mate? All right, mate. Yo. I'm very good. And if you see, this point result for you today, what did you think of the game? Uh, it was tough. <laughs> tough game, first half. Uh, we didn't come out properly, but I thought second half we improved quite a lot. And then it just wasn't good enough first half, so we beat, been beaten first half. And I think that, that was a punishment already, because we were trying to get back second half. Got one goal back, but then poor clearance and... Just couldn't get it back and then ended up 3-1, which is disappointing, but go back again next week. What do you think went wrong today? I don't know, mate. It's hard to put a thing on it. Uh, I thought we were just slow first half and didn't come out the blocks quick enough, where they did. They were on it from minute one. But second half, we sort of brought ourselves back into the game, but it just wasn't good enough in the end. But hopefully come back next week and win again. Yeah, because you've got game in hand over, Sheldon, how important is that game going to be? Massive. We just need to win out the rest of our games now and hopefully come, come champions by the end of it. But who knows? I'll have to wait and see. Thank you very much for that, mate. No problem, mate. Right, guys, I'm joined here by Sheldon's number 11, uh, Joe Postel. Thank you for joining me, Joe. What did you think of the game, mate? Yeah, it was it was a tough one. We always knew it was going to be, be tough, you know, to a uh, good surface and it suits the way they play. Um, you know, you can see they're, they're a quality side. I think we just maybe took our our chances better on the day, and, um, and yeah, it was, it was one of them really. And a uh, great first half for for you. You just went right off from the off, weren't you? Yeah, we were. I think we started really well, and I think that that sort of set the tone of the first half. Really, I think they were a little bit a bit rattled with how well we started. Obviously, we knew the the quality they have. They're going to have a spell. Um, I thought, you know, that, that especially down. On my side, their right side, they were really dangerous. So, um, yeah, we knew they were going to have a spell, and then in the second half, we sort of dug it out and, and managed to get one on the on the break. And uh, when you scored that goal for the three-one, how big of a relief was that? Yeah, massive. Because you know, the, 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 to be fair to them, they'd, they'd hit the bar and they'd hit the post with some great, like great pieces of play. Um, credit to them. Um, but yeah, just sort of seal the day really. Um, yeah, it was it was nice. And obviously, it's, it's still in Bishop Fulton's hands. If you do have to, if you do have to go to the playoffs, um, I will confidently use that you can get promoted. Yeah, I mean, there's still there's still a few few games to go yet, so nothing's nothing's finalised. We're, we're under no illusions that anything is finished yet, mm. um, both for and against us. Um, but you know, we're, we're always confident going into every game, and I, I think you could see that in the, the performance today. The yeah, very best of luck for us this season, mate. Cheers, mate. Right guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much to both of Louis Johnson and Joe Posthill for the interviews. Uh, best of luck to Shilton for the rest of the season. And of course, I will be, we will still be covering one more game with Bishop Alternick this season as we will be going to that game and they've got is, is against Redcroft Lake a week from tomorrow or 
well, probably a week on from when the Avis gets uploaded. So that is going to be absolutely massive. But uh, on it, in all honesty, I'm going to say it like this. From what I've seen from the Children of the Bishop, they're both well above the rest of the teams in this league. I think whoever goes into play has to go, finish second and goes into the playoffs. I just see, I don't see even them not winning the playoffs if they have to go into that. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, no offence to the teams, of course. But it's just too much quality and they've both scored well over, they've both scored over 100 goals this season. That just shows it. Um, but yeah, obviously, I do know, obviously anything can happen to the playoffs, so of course. But uh, yeah, so that is the end of the video, guys. Uh, I think I will actually go to the next video will be this weekend as I am going away to Whitley Bay as I will be and I will be doing a collaboration with another YouTube channel for, in that. So stay tuned to that. Till next time, goodbye.